Hello and welcome to a new video of my Java e tutorial. In another video I have showed you how to use JAXRS to provide REST web services. Here is a short recap of what we did in this video. We created a REST service with three methods. The first is returning a simple string. The second one is returning your message that was entered. And the last one returned a simple object which was converted to XML or JSON. From this point on, when it comes to exceptions, we basically got two problems. The core problem is that we want to customize the exceptions and handling how the messages were returned to the client to show which error was thrown. That is difficult because we have three different methods in this small project. In larger projects, we would have tons of methods and we won't be able to put in and try catch block in every single method. So of course you could do something like that. Put in a try catch block, put this in here and return some error message in our catch block. But this would make our code really long and really bad to read. And it would also not fit our second problem because we can't catch exceptions that happen before entering the method. If someone calls our web service just like that, we call the method and we get back hello world. This will be processed by the JAXRS framework at first. And this framework will look at the different path annotations and check which method needs to be called for this specific request. If the URL cannot be mapped to a method because it was an invalid URL, then there will be a not found exception raised. So basically, if we put in one at the end here, there is no such method which could call and we receive an HTTP 404 status code with some default Glassfish error page. There is no way we can catch this exception inside of this class or method because it will never be reached. For those problems, JAXRS comes with the so-called exception mapper. Basically, they are registering themselves for a special type of exception that is thrown and are then called by the JAXRS framework. Let's create one for an example. Simply, we will put a new class. I will call it not found exception mapper. We will implement the exception mapper from the Java XWS RS extension package. And here we now see we can define an exception type that we want to catch. In this case, to catch the 404, we need to catch the not found exception from the Java XWS RS package. And then we see we need to add an unimplemented method. This one is the to response method, which will be called if somewhere in our application, the not found exception was thrown. Of course, only if it was thrown in our REST web service. Then JAXRS will call the toResponse method. We get uh, the exception and so all the informations we need passed into our method and can then create some custom response that we return and that will be returned to the client. We will simply create a response here, response dots status and we will keep the not found status code 404 and then put in an entity. So we will define the HTTP response body here where we put in a simple string resource could not be found and we build this one. We have now created our custom exception mapper, which will catch all the not found exceptions. What we now need to do is we need to add the add provider to our class as the Java doc states. This makes our exception mapper discoverable. So it will be automatically added to our current application and registered as an exception mapper. So it will be called. Otherwise, it would just be there, but not be used by our JAXRS framework. We will now test this. I will publish the application once again, and we will call this one. Now we see the default page is gone and we have a special text that we just stated out here saying that this resource could not be found. Of course, you can put in other exceptions here to catch, and we will now create a second exception mapper to catch all exceptions that will be thrown. I will call this the general exception mapper and we will put in here just throwable. So we can put 
all exceptions in here that extends from throwable, so basically all exceptions in Java. And if you put in throwable directly, so the topmost exception, this one will basically catch every exception that is thrown, every type of exception except if there is already a special exception mapper for this exception in the project already, which we have for the not found exception. So we will here put in error exception.get message. And this exception mapper will be called when we throw another exception, such as the runtime exception ABC this exception won't be called by the not found exception mapper so it will be catched by the general exception mapper we will test this out we press f5 here we are still on the resource could not be found although there are two exception mappers only the not found exception mappers processed the exception and if we now remove that so we get in our method here with the runtime exception we get error abc because we put in here the ABC and in the general security mapper, we put in the exception get message in our HTTP response body. Of course, you can put any other exception here, also custom created exceptions and differentiate all these with different classes. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I hope I see you soon.